Let's come back here to the home and let's start drawing our bridge right here. So I'm going to hide some of this stuff that I don't want right now. Again, you can start a whole new file and make your bridge just by itself. I kind of want to keep this road here just to help me visualize it, but I'm going to hide a bunch of other stuff. First of all, this rubble, I can delete that. Click on it, hit delete, click delete. And then I'm going to click the earth and I'm going to right click and I can't hide it until I unlock it. So run clock and hide. Oh, I still have it checked over here. Remember the sun, the little glasses right here, I can uh, uncheck. Now I don't see hidden objects. Um, person right here, you can keep them. Let's just hide them again, hide that. A uh, couple other buttons we didn't really talk about much yet. One is this scenes right here. And what this lets you do is look at it from a specific angle. So if I want to look at it directly from this view right here, this side view, this button right here might help you out. Or look at it from this angle, or that angle, or that, or directly on top. So this just kind of helps you see different views of whatever you're doing right there. One is called projection right here. You have parallel projection versus perspective. Perspective is kind of more of your, you know, artistic looking thing where you have your, your points off on the horizon, you draw those lines to connect everything. It makes it look more realistic. Whereas this parallel projection, if you click that, this is what more of a engineering type of view where everything is kind of parallel. That's not how it would actually look in real life. Um, whichever one of those you've, you're more comfortable with, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's just the scenes button, which helps you out a little bit. Um, the display button right here, again, you can turn off and turn on your hidden objects hidden geometry if you want to section planes is like if you have a house and you want to look inside of it um, section cuts axes if you want to get rid of this axes right here you can turn that on and off right here if that gets in your way guides guides are helpful so if I have a tape measure right here and you may have done this accidentally a lot if I'm measuring something say I want to measure right there so I can see like halfway or whatever. And then this dotted line shows up. We'll use guides when we make this. But it's helpful because then I can take this and I can connect certain points if I needed to. But you get this big dotted line right here. Uh, two ways to get rid of that. One is I can just click on it and hit delete on the keyboard. Or if I come down here, if I want to keep the guide but I don't want to see it, if I uncheck this guides button right there, then it comes in and goes away. If I want to just delete all of them, like because after a while there'll be like 50 of them there and you don't want them, you just hit that delete all guides button, it'll just delete them. Alright, doom do what else do we have over here that's useful? Components. This third one down, our components button. Search the 3D warehouse, that's where you go if like you want to put a car on there, you type in car, and I hit enter, and look at that, there's like a million cars, or 5,097 cars. So if I wanted to put a car in my road, click on that, it'll say, do you want to import it? Yeah, sure. And then look at that, I can put a car on my road if I wanted to. But also in the components tab here, this one right here in model is all of the stuff that we've used for this uh, template right here. So if I want to add another ramp for some reason, yeah, there it is. Or the ground or the landscape. So components are useful. And what else do we have here? That's about it. The model info button. 
Uh, if you want to change from sixteenths of an inch to sixty-fourths of an inch or one inch, or if you want to do it in centimeters and millimeters, this is where you would change that information. All right, but let's just go ahead and start getting our bridge going here. So I'm just deleting that line I just made. All right, so let's look at it from the side view. So remember, I can try to get it from the side, or if I hit my little glass, nope, nope, sorry, hit my little clapperboard, my scenes, and let's find the house that looks like it's from the side. That's a weird angle. There we go. So I know I've got my 100 feet right here. I've got my bridge that's going to be 30, 40 feet tall, and it's going to be 25 feet wide. So let's get going on building that. Now, there's a million different ways you could make this bridge here. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. I'm just going to show you an example of how I would do it. So that then. All right, so let's build a bridge here. 